A year ago, Mick, an 18-year-old from Hendon, told us how he got drawn into the habit of sniffing solvents. Well, I started about five years ago when I was with my mates, you know, because they was all sniffing glue, right? And I was just watching them for about a couple of weeks. And after a couple of weeks, I was on my skateboard, and I was going down the road, and I found that old tube on the floor, you know? I picked the old tube up, I took it to my house, I went back to my bathroom, my house site in my bathroom, and I just started sniffing it from then. I've got a buzz in my head, and from that day I just started sniffing it all the time, like, you know? To Mick and his girlfriend Karen, the attraction of sniffing was simple. They just found the sensation enjoyable. I just do it to get a buzz, to get high. That's all I do it for. That's about it. All I can really say about the buzz, but, you know, you get different things, you know, you get trips and... I once I imagined myself in a phone box, you know, and I saw loads of people in the phone box and thousands and thousands of people in the phone box. And <laughs> a year later, both Mick and Karen are still hooked on glue. Mick's need for glue is now so great that he's taken to buying three litre tubs of it. Even a year ago, they were both experiencing physical and mental damage as a result of their addiction. It, it, it makes it kind of slurred speech, you know what I mean? Slurred and, and you get a couple of pains sometimes in your chest and that. I get so high on it, I start crying and I feel very suicidal in the end. I get suicidal. I get too high. Despite the fact that symptoms like these are common amongst regular sniffers, some youth workers deny that glue, as opposed to the other substances which can be sniffed, is a serious health threat. Some retailers, like Hackney shopkeeper John Baker, already restrict glue sales voluntarily. He thinks it will take a change in the law for more shopkeepers to do the same. I think it will be useful for the shopkeeper to have the backing of the law, if you like, because uh, occasionally, not often, uh, a kid can get offensive, but of course, if you've got the backing of the law, then you are, um, you know, well within your rights not to sell it, you know. ...that legislation would not be justified, for reasons explained by Conservative MP Tim Egger. What now seems clear is that unless money is spent on setting up centres where sniffers and their families can go for expert advice and treatment, the sad but inevitable result will be more and more needless deaths, like those of Stephen Anthony and Mark Chart.